What's up my friend? Abby here and welcome to another episode of Writer's Life Wednesdays and the first episode of my new series, How to Create Relatable and Addictive Characters. If you want the skinny on what this whole series is about, check out this video up here. But hey, the title says it all. Today we are starting off by diving right into making character profiles. Character bios, character sketches, whatever you want to call them, that's what this video is all about. I have my ultimate character questionnaire right here and I'm giving you a template just like this to fill out as well. There's a link in the description box below, easy printable or copy and pasteable format. Okay, so remember this is just one third of the character creation process, but this step, this first step is so important. Now there are a lot of character questionnaires already out there. You can Google them, look them up, find them on Pinterest, find them on blogs, all over the place character questionnaires, but I don't want you to get distracted with questions that don't matter to your story at all. We don't need to know what your character's favorite brand of laundry detergent is. <laughs> all we need to know is this. So I actually posted this character questionnaire on my blog a while ago, but this is the updated version because I made a lot of changes since I posted this questionnaire on my blog. Okay, I deleted probably like 70% of the questions because I realized after I learned more about developing characters that these questions did not serve the story I'm trying to tell at all. So if you've been here a while, you have been following my blog like the awesome person that you are and you've already filled out this questionnaire in the past, there's something new for you here today as well. Because this whole thing is totally new and improved, dialed into what you really need to know so that you don't waste your time outlining something that you're never gonna use. Also, before we begin, it's important to remember that it does not matter if you're a plotter or a pantser, it doesn't matter how you write, if you're something in between the two, you need to know your characters inside out and upside down. Because if you really know your characters, like if you really, really, really know them, then you can write a story any way you want. You don't have to follow anybody's method because you are so in touch with the heart of the story, which is the characters. All right, so let's take it from the top. But before we begin, I just wanna say that this questionnaire is built for your most important characters. You can make a side character version of this questionnaire by just omitting some of the questions because it's a lot to develop for a side character. But hey, I mean, nobody's stopping you. So let's get into it. <laughs> character's name, pretty self-explanatory, right? Just do me a favor and make it something I can pronounce. Thanks. Their role in the story. Physical description. Okay, don't get too carried away here. You can do it for your like your your outline or whatever, but when you're actually writing the story, try to make the physical descriptions of the characters actually be like reflecting on their personality or something that's important about their character. I saw a great Tumblr post recently that was about eye color in characters and how they were like, oh, why do writers always say like th this character's eye color? It tells you nothing about the character. And I'm like, that's a great point. And they were saying like, I'd rather see something in their physical description that tells me more about their character, about their personality, about their job maybe, what they do. Maybe they have weathered hands from gardening. Maybe they have like a scar on their face. Those are more interesting elements of the physical description. And they actually are attached to something that's gonna be meaningful in the story or about the character. Age, self-explanatory. And last but not least, MBTI personality type. All my friends are rolling their eyes right now. <laughs> okay guys, you know me. If you know me, you know. I'm obsessed with MBTI personality types. I know, it's not the be all end all of every single person. You don't fit in a box. That's what I preach all the time. You don't fit in type, you don't fit in a box, but it can be really, really freaking helpful when you're building a character from scratch to just like pick their personality type and stick to it. Obviously this is totally optional, totally up to you. You don't actually need to peg a person's, a character's personality type to be able to write that character well, but I do recommend it because it's just, it's really fun. So it's not like crucial, but I would recommend it, especially since it's gonna come into play later on when we break our characters in half, bust them up into little smithereens, and watch our readers cry. <laughs> It's gonna be helpful, so do it. All right, now we move on to the actual questionnaire part of 
the character profile. Internal questions, okay? This is the most important things you need to know about your character. What is his or her greatest fear? Now you're gonna build upon this later, so just write down the general concept of the fear. You don't have to go digging deep into it right now. In fact, do not do that. Just write down what you want their general fear to be. Fear of commitment, fear of abandonment, fear of failure. Very conceptual. Leave it that way. We're gonna dig into it later. Also, this will end up being part of your theme. So think about what you want your theme to be for the entire story because that's gonna be, the theme is going to be told through the character arc, right? Right, Abby! <laughs> Next question. What is his or her misbelief about the world? You're gonna dig down to the root of this one very, very soon too. So for now, just give your character a messed up worldview based on their fear. For example, if they fear abandonment, then maybe their misbelief will be something like, people abandon you so they can't be trusted. Next question. What is the best thing in his or her life? Dig deep here, okay? It's not gonna be like cupcakes, waffles, pizza. Can you tell the best things in my life are food? <laughs> Make it something deep, internal, something that is meaningful, okay? This is the internal questions. We're gonna get to the fun external questions about food in a minute. What is the worst thing in his or her life? Again, dig deep. What does he or she most often look down on people for? Okay, this one is surprisingly important, especially when it comes to breaking your character later on. I don't know why I always do that. Breaking, breaking, breaking your character. I just feel so malicious author when I do that. Also, if you know their MBTI type, you can research what does this MBTI type dislike the most in people, what turns them off the most, and boom, there it is. That's probably what they most look down on people for. Later, you'll see how this stems from their misbelief and leads to their darkest, lowest, most horrible moment of their lives. Yeah. What makes his or her heart feel alive? Their passion, talent, or just anything that makes them lose track of time when they're doing it. What makes him or her feel loved? And who is the last person to make them feel that way? Top three things he or she values the most in life. Take your time on that one. It can be material things, but also probably good if you throw in some internal juicy philosophical things as well. Okay, here's the external questions, the fun questions, not necessary, but they're good to know. And they say a lot about your character. What is his or her favorite book, movie, and band? Not applicable if you write like fantasy or something that exists in another world. <laughs> All my contemporary writers out there, I'm looking out for you. Is there an object he or she can't bear to part with and why? Describe a typical outfit for him or her from top to bottom. Again, Use the physical descriptions to let their personality shine. Let something be said about who they are as a character through their style. What nicknames has she or he been called throughout their life? Think about that before you name your character. What's the nickname gonna be? <laughs> I have painted myself into a corner more than once with a name that's like, I can't make any nickname out of this. How could I do that? What is his or her weapon of choice? It doesn't actually have to be a physical weapon. It could be like sarcasm. That's mine. Describe his or her daily routine. This is surprisingly helpful when you need your character to be doing something, but you don't know like what they need to be doing. Like, I need them to do something while they have this conversation. What can they do? Daily routine, just figure it out. And finally, what is their go-to cure for a bad day? I really like that one because you're gonna be throwing bad days at, at these characters all the time and they're not gonna be able to go to their little go-to cure and it's gonna be just that much more painful for the reader to witness because everybody wants to cure a bad day, but they can't because you're an evil author. Okay, boosh, there it is. All right, my friend, time to do your homework. If you didn't write down all those questions as I was calling them out, then good, because I already did that for you. There's a totally free printable in the description box below, and you don't even have to print it. You can just copy and paste the questions into a document or character folder, maybe in your Scrivener, or wherever else you outline your books. Go fill this thing out. Take your time and have fun with it. Remember that you can always go back and change things. But we're not finished here. Like I said before, this is only one third of the character creation process. 
We might know the character's basic fear and misbelief, but we don't have that electricity that lights up a story. We don't have that juicy internal conflict, the character's agenda, or the events in the past that sparked this agenda and shaped who they are today. That's next week's video. So be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it because <clears throat> it's gonna be good. We're going to talk about conflict. The only thing, the one and only thing that makes your characters relatable and makes your story addictive, even if your story is a little cliche. That's next week, so stick around. Hit that like button if you like this video, and don't forget to grab your character questionnaire, link in the description box below. There's a little email sign up, and I did that because next week when the next video drops, you're gonna get a new installment to your character questionnaire, the second third of your character, complete ultimate character questionnaire, building profile thing, sent directly to your inbox with the new video, so ugh, it's gonna be good. You're awesome. Your characters are gonna be awesome. Mm. I'll see you next week, my friend. Rock on. Shh.